All right, happy Saturday, guys. Last benchmark of the cycle uh, and last benchmark of test week here doing Chelsea. Imam 30 here, uh, five pull-ups, 10 push-ups, 15 air squats. So we did this one in uh, past cycle. So you go back into your journals, check this one, see how far you got. Um, the goal of this one is to be able to keep moving for the full 30 minutes here. And the way I would attack this one, um, I would say at least try to aim to finish 20 rounds and doing it on a timely basis. So every minute on the minute for 20 minutes, try to get uh, the work done, whether it be five pull-ups, 10 push-ups, 15 air squats, or we reduce the reps. We go three, six, nine for the workout. Um, try to be as consistent as possible until the 20 minute mark. Now, if you find you're absolutely falling off by the 20 minute mark, that was just like max out effort to get to that point from 20 minutes to the 30 minute mark. Let's just treat the rest as an AMRAP and try to get as many rounds as possible by the 30 minute mark there. So 20 minutes of an EMOM and then the last 10 minutes we're doing an AMRAP of five pull-ups, 10 push-ups, 15 air squats, or if you chose to go with 369, that's also the rep scheme you can go with. So. Um, kind of diving a little bit deeper into that rep scheme with the 369. I would choose that if you're not comfortable getting the amount of work done within 50, kind of 50 seconds approximately. Um, and that 50 seconds shouldn't be a full max out sprint or something that's going to make you gassed out by the end of that 50 seconds. The first like couple rounds should feel really manageable. I would say up to at least a 10th round you should be able to do that. Um, or whatever progressions you do, that should be comfortable for you to do until that 10 round mark. Then I would say by the 10 round mark, it should slightly get a little bit more challenging depending on what your skill and strength level is with this, with these movements. Um, with the pull-ups, always feel free to fall back on those ring pull-ups there. Uh, push-ups, this is gonna probably be the hardest part out of the workout, especially if you go with the rep range of 10 every round. By the, the 10 minute mark, you're doing 120, do 200 by the 30 minute mark you have 300 push-ups now i like to think about uh the push-ups ahead of time so if i'm doing 300 um for this whole workout i want to kind of dial it back right off the bat go six quick rest then do four i don't want to hit that muscle fatigue and then only be doing singles like past the 10 minute mark or even the 15 minute mark into this workout so think ahead think about the kind of the volume for this workout here um it is quite a bit but it is segmented so it allows you to have some rest in between and that's going to be based on your progressions and your strength so make sure you talk to your coach about which progression you should be using for this workout again it should be something that is comfortable for you to finish within 50 seconds have a quick little transition and then kind of go back into it as if you were doing regular uh sydney so sydney would be amrap 20 five pull-ups, 10 push-ups, 15 air squats, kind of the same pace you would choose for that. You want to kind of go into it with the same mentality for Chelsea. And uh, again, guys, this is a really good benchmark of your gymnastics, body weight strength and endurance. So make sure you write this one down, record it, because we will be doing it in later cycles. And with that in mind, guys, next week, we're starting our last cycle of the year. And then we'll start a brand new cycle in January to kick it off there. So um, the next four weeks, again, will be some little bit of tests here and there, um, some strength stuff, kind of keeping it fun uh, until the holidays there, and then we'll start something new in January. Overall guys, hope you enjoy this one and we'll see you today in class.